All right, so good evening. Welcome back to JPCE Special Talk, Chair Kemble. So here's our world updates and news. Without further ado, we're going to get over to War 24-7 News. There's only two articles that I'm going to show from there. Then we're going to get over to Telegram and look at some of the updates in Telegram, some of the news there. And that should be a wrap for this evening. So without further ado, let's jump into this. All right, so I like to just get to the point. <laughs> All right, so thank you all again for following. Welcome back. The true definition of minister is to serve someone else as well. So it's my pleasure to serve you all. Thank you all. Thank you all, all of you that follow the morning devotionals, the evening Bible studies, and thank you to all of you who, who also follow these news updates as well. It means a lot. Thank you all for following. All right, so we're going to start right here. Move this over. So it says... The Russian forces eliminated the Ukrainian bridgehead in Kyrgyzstan. The Ukrainians threw away their weapons and tried to escape by swimming. The Ukrainians fled. They threw away their weapons. So we're going to watch some of these videos. These videos will not be muted because they don't need to be muted. Right? The other article, I have to mute those. So here, here's a highlight. It says, Russian forces with a surprise attack destroyed U Ukrainian bridgehead on the left bank of the Kyrgyzstan region right the ukrainians failed again the russian released videos of the recap the russians released video of the recap the recapture of the area several ukrainians were killed with the russians presenting their weapons as loot hmm. that's how it's translated their words not mine so this is a group of saboteurs managed to hide on the outskirts of the community the moscow controlled cossacks in the left bank of the diane for russian local Official Valamandir Sadol told the TASS news agency. So here are the videos. So let's watch video of the Russian operation to eliminate the Ukrainian bridgehead. Right. Когда переплавлялись на лодках, да? Да, спасательные жилеты. А вы слух? Накопали все братские могилы. А вы слушная повязка, да? Нет. Их было так много, что они не знали друг друга в лицо. И они наводили панику среди местного ну, населения. Посмотрели мы на этот район, который не нужно оборонить казачьи жилеты. Казачьи лагеря, это не совсем уже, это уже передняя линия обороны. Много в интернете пишут блогеры о присутствии противника в казачьих лагерях, что уже поселок под Украиной, что вы можете сказать на этот счет? Казачьи лагеря под нашим контролем, под контролем вооруженных сил Российской Федерации. Но они даже не заходили сюда. Мы их отсюда выдавили с наших позиций. Которые они заняли. Противник здесь присутствует э, в казачьих лагерях исключительно в виде попахивающих мертвых тел. Мы вам их покажем. Все. Да, большинство наемников. Даже есть афроамериканец. Дживелины, англоу, все эти модные поставки супероружия с запада. Оно все валяется под ногами и не помогло им ничуть. Пушка лучше орудия, это правда и боевой бой. Знакомься. Они не забрали своих двух соток. Они не вытащили их. Они уходили в пешки. Они на лодках высаживали. Вот мы находимся на лодке. Hold on, pause it real quick. You'll see back there one of the, the plates, vest plates came from L.A. Police Department. Let that sink in. ...на станции у казачьих лагерей, как мы видим, тут никак, никаких э, нет ВСУ. Вот они, трофеи наших военнослужащих, да, смотрите. которые Что выбили в ВСУ. So I'm going to go back real quick. I'm going to show y'all something. So I'm hit play again. Мы их отсюда выдавили. 
Да, большинство. Ну, все эти моды. Right there. Они не вытащили. Они уходили в техник. Right there. LA police gear. Let that sink in, though. You're an American citizen. Think about Lahaina over in Maui, the town that was destroyed by fire. Our government is only our government is only giving those citizens seven hundred dollars per household. Seven hundred dollars. Yet we send billions of dollars, not only billions of dollars, but billions of dollars of equipment to help them fight against the Russians when they're not even part of NATO. They're not part of NATO. Why are we giving them assistance? Think about that. So let that really sink in, right? Let it sink in. They fled. They threw away their weapons. Here's some more videos. Дживелины, Энглоу, все эти модные поставки супероружия с Запада. Оно все валяется под ногами и не помогло им ничуть. Пусть лучше орудие, это правда и боевой бой. Знакомьтесь. Они не забрали своих двухсотых. Они не вытащили их. Они уходили в техник. Они на лодках высаживали. Вот мы находимся на лодочной станции у казачьих лагерей, как мы видим. Тут никак... никаких... Нет ВСУ. Вот они, трофеи наших военнослужащих, которые выбили ВСУ. Также в ходе боев за лодочную станцию в Персонской области, близ села Казачьи лагеря и село Подстепное, при бегстве армия ВСУ оставила многочисленные трофеи, схроны оружия, боеприпасы натовского и нашего образца. Такие есть гранаты американского, польского производства. Вот он как бы весь в арсенал. Моторные лодки, выстрела, гранатометы, также всякого вида различные боеприпасы. Бронежилеты ВСУ тоже побросала. Starting to think that Ukraine was set up to fail. The new attempt by the Ukrainians also failed. The press service of the Dianver Group of the Russian Armed Forces announced destruction of the amphibian forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in Kyrgyzstan region. Take a look at this map. This is the area in which I'm talking about. All right. So here we go on this one. It says absolute disaster. The Russians eliminated in the blink of an eye 31 armored vehicles and two more planets and some Ukrainians. Kiev and the West were in a state of shock. Well, go figure. The Russians talked of 7,000 Ukrainian casualties in two settlements. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. So Germany. And the wider West have been shocked by a video released a few hours ago showing the loss of the Ukrainian army in the settlements of Eurozane and Stormoso. The video shows the destruction of 31 Ukrainian tanks in a single battle for a settlement. The bid, the Ukrainians lost 31 armored vehicles in the battle for a village. The armed forces of Ukraine lost 31 units of military equipment in the battles for the village of Stormoso. Alone, including 23 mine protected armored vehicles, which were given to them by NATO countries, reports the German newspaper Lid. 31 armored vehicles lost in the battle for a village. The debris of the equipment remains on the battlefield since there is no way to evacuate it, the Germans add. So here's that video. All right, so we're going to mute this. This is the music. All right, so here we go.
with it muted, I'm sure you all can hear my voice. So I have the, when I do these videos, I have the same mindset as when I teach the Bible. So when I come on here and I teach the Bible to those who follow my Bible studies, you know, we, we look at scripture. I zoom in, we look at commentary notes, different commentaries from different, just depends, right? It's whatever I find, we can understand God's work. I like to show, zoom in, right? Well, these videos have the same mindset. I want you all to see what's going on. It's better for you to see than for always listening to somebody talking. And so I'm, I'm always adamant by showing these videos and reading just a few highlights. I didn't want, when I started this, I did this because I want everybody to know what's going on. And I want to be somebody of less talk and more just showing the videos, right? So thank you all again. So I hope you're enjoying the videos. Let's just look at this one. So watch the video with the Ukrainian Plan X. So this is one of the Plan Xs. So we'll, and here I'm going to mute this because of the video. You know, when I when I do these videos, the reason a lot of my vid my videos are very, are long because it takes a while when you show these videos. It uh. Sometimes it takes longer than you would think to show these videos and to kind of talk about them. I used to do multiple videos when I, when I first started the updates, the world updates. I would post multiple videos reading from articles. And then somebody asked me if I could show what I was reading. And then I got on to Zoom and now I'm able to show what's going on. So it takes a little longer. I used to do really short, short videos where I just read from the articles. That's all I did. And people wanted to see videos, which, you know, they got me to thinking is that seeing the videos is very important because you see for sure what's going on. You can see the truth, right? As all this is really about is truth. So here's another one. The video, a third crash of Ukrainian military planet near Heroes League. Destroying the Ukrainian Plan X, right? I mean, destroying 31 in one day is just, it's, it's crazy. But I know that the Ukrainians, they weren't ready to fight this war, nor could they have ever been. NATO set them up to be slaughtered. This is what I truly think. Because if you're going to give them all these weapons and, and you turn this into a proxy war, then why not just go in and help them? Why not, like I keep saying, why not just make them part of NATO when it helped them? Why set them up to be slaughtered like they have? They have no good artillery support. They have no good air support. So how can you fight the Russians without good artillery or air support? You can't fight a military like Russia. Nobody can. They're just out there getting blown up, as we see in these videos, over and over again. Imagine being in a military taking these type of losses, consistently taking these losses. It makes you wonder how they still have the will to fight, right? Or are they being forced to fight right now? Never know. So the Ukraine Armed Forces lost about 7,000 soldiers, right? Wow. So here's this one last video. It says, watch the video of an attempted Ukrainian tank attacking heroes. It receives heavy fire the Russian artillery. Ukrainian tanks are blown up and the tank is in a hurry to retreat quickly.
All right. Let's look at some of the comments. Let's see what the comments are saying. Some translate, not all of them do. Some some write in English. So this comment says Ukrainian military should have been fighting their leadership who pushed them into a meat grinder instead of the Russians. Interesting point. Somebody typed here, Nikos, says, has U.S. military might become a myth? What if Russia, and I guess I can't see what else is written. This comment says, these videos are by Russian drones. So Russia is controlling the drone airspace within 24-7 visibility of what is moving on the ground. So Kiev leadership is sending in ground attacks totally naked. And no pre-bombing so softening air attacks. No close air support, no drone control skies. Kiev leadership demonstrates levels of order slaughter not seen since Europe, since World War I. Hmm. Interesting point of view. Let's look at some of this other one. This one says, NATO and Western allies Ukraine have become so obvious that even the pro-Ukrainian bloggers are going silent. Wow. I wish Ukrainian people would take their government back, which they lost in a coup sponsored by America. Whoa. And stop the slaughter of their people. The West We'll have them all killed just to buy enough time to prepare for the real conflict when it starts. Failing that, the world's hope is God and a Trump victory in 2024. Huh. I'm not much of a political person these days. I don't put my stock in these political leaders, right? I put my All my faith and trust is in Christ, right? Christ, my God. That's where my trust is. My faith is there, right? Our problems are not political. I think people forget that. That it doesn't matter who you vote for anymore, right? The problems that we have are spiritual. They're not political. Politics are not going to fix your problem. We're in a spiritual fight, spiritual war. It has nothing to do with Republican or Democrat, conservative, liberal, or whatever parties that are out there in other countries. It has nothing to do with any of that. Right? Our problems are no longer political. They're spiritual. The world must get on its knees, fall on its face, and return back to God, right? Or the or the destruction continues. That's simple, right? Don't put all your stock in politicians. You're going to get burned very easily. You will get burned every time. All right, so let's go over to Telegram, and then we'll get out of here for this evening. So let's start here with Amir. So here, Amir, according to Tyron Times, straight truth. Spies from Sweden and France and Britain in Iran's captivity. Whoa. So Iranian intelligence minister said spies from Sweden and France, Britain have been captured in Iran, adding that a number of them have been ex executed despite foreign pressure. Wow. So, so today, the power of the country's intelligence organizations is such that they have captured spies from France, Sweden, and the UK and several other, and several other countries. So they got spies. It says that they've already executed some. Oh. So it says here, yesterday wasn't a good day for Russia. First, their space vessel Luna 25 crashed before it landed on the moon. And then the TU-22 and 3 bomber was completely destroyed in a Ukrainian drone strike on the Russian Air Force Base in Slavsky, Novograd region between Moscow and St. Petersburg. These are some images. According to Syrian media, loud explosions are heard in the sky in Damascus. So massive floods due to heavy rains and passing your Hurricane Hillary in the Baja California and also in Mexico. Look at this. More signs of the time, more signs of the time. Let's see where this be sure.
I hope that doesn't get me tag. I didn't know I had music. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about it. All right. So incredible video shows lightning strikes upwards. I think we've seen that already. I saw the other day, so that was it. Got a mirror. It's here. So Hurricane Hillary. Big time base. Oh, look at that. Look at the base here. That might have even been it. All right, let's get ready to stop here. We got major rotating rain curtains. Look at the wall cloud there off to the right. Just had a major wind shift. You seeing this? Look at this. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> Ken's video. More on Hurricane Hillary. More signs of the times, more signs of the time. So I don't put too much stock on this. But it says, James Webb's telescope has captured a, a breathtaking image of the cosmos, drawing attention to the mysterious shape question mark among the stars. The photo went viral, leading social media and speculation to whether it could be a sign of aliens. You know, these people and their aliens, you know, being a spiritual person, I believe in fallen angels. I don't believe in aliens. I believe they're fallen angels. But far as some of this, how can I put stock on something like that? How do I know that picture is real? You zoom in. How do I know that's real? What, because they post that and they tell me it's real? I don't put, put a lot of stock in that. So, all right. So alert, martial law in Russia. So Russian security services suggest Putin fires Sergio. Impose martial law and start general mobilization. The media... Rise that a number of Russian security service representatives are advocating a shift to more aggressive actions on the front lines of Ukraine. So some of you that comment on my YouTube and you're, you're familiar with what's going on in Russia, please let me know if that's true. Just to back that up, is there martial law in Russia? Did he fire Sergio here? I don't know. Sergio, or however you say his name. So Y'all let me know. It says the ECOWAS, the speech to the military junta. Niger closes the door to negotiations. You think? More on Hurricane Hillary. According to the Russian ambassador to Belarus, said the Moscow would consider an attack by a third party on Minsk as an attack on the Russian Federation, and the response would be all possible weapons. Wow. So, unspoken. World War III. According to UN Agenda 2030, Western metropolitans are flooded with illegal aliens. The so-called United Nations Agenda says that all people from elsewhere have the right to get shelter, countries, food, homes, jobs. It seems that something went wrong. Let's take a look at this. Breaking. Benik Nafaso, we are ready to protect Niger. 
military Junta and Niger with the support of Mali and Bernica Faso, we will never kneel. So get hot heavy. Getting closer to fall. A storm of lightning strikes hit San Diego in the light of Hurricane Hillary. Doesn't some of that look interesting? The lightning off in the sky looks very interesting to me. You know, the, the Bible talks about there'll be signs in the sky, right? All right. So breaking heavy rainfall caused several damage to the capital of Moscow, Russia today. <laughs> Some more signs of the time, right? More signs of the times. The more floods, talking about the flood in Moscow. So here, here we go, breaking. The Syrian army has prevented a convoy of the U.S. Army from entering a city. Here in Syria, the U.S. convoy included four armored vehicles escorted by two helicopters. So what are we doing in Syria that's so important? Can anybody explain that to me? Or we just die everywhere nowadays. Later this month, India and Russia will will each attempt to make a soft landing on the south pole of the moon. Police informing neighbors in the San Bernardino Mountains of being cut off by flash flooding. So Chancellor Olaf Scholz calls pro-Russian protesters fallen angels from hell and a public speech much. What? What does this guy know about fallen angels? Does this dude even read the Bible? Den Ukrainern zu sagen, sie sollten einfach ihr Land erobern lassen, habe mit Friedensliebe aber nichts zu tun, sagte Scholz. Und die, die hier mit Friedenstauben rumlaufen, sind deshalb vielleicht gefallene Engel, die aus der Hölle kommen, weil sie letztendlich an dem Kriegstreiber das Wort reden. Grenzen werden nicht mit Gewalt verschoben. Wo würden wir enden, wenn jeder in einem Geschichtsbuch blättert, wo früher mal eine Grenze war? I'm going to pause that joke real quick. You know, I'm just going to say it. We see that pride flag in the video. The woman was holding the pride flag. The pride flag is evil. There, I said it. You want to talk about evil spirits? People should do their research on that pride flag, right? And that evil spirit that's involved with that, right? Talk about the fallen angels. I'll just leave that as it is. Dann ein Krieg beginnt. Das muss Putin klar gesagt werden. Es ist gerichtet an die AfD. Schöne Grüße an die anwesenden Querdenker. Breaking. Wow. It's a mass rally it takes place in Niger. The support of the military junta led by General Kahini. So Iraq, a convoy of U.S. Army had been reported today in Mosul, possibly to send reinforcements to U.S. military bases in eastern Syria. What are we doing? What are we doing over here?
So whose freedom are we fighting for in Iraq? Anybody want to let me know? Is it American freedom? Is it Iraqi freedom? Or is it about something else? Oh, a standoff between Taiwan and Chinese vessels. Wow, some more flooding here. That's insane. All right, so that's where we're going to end tonight. Here's all of some of the updates. All right, so thank you all again for following. So I'm going to close out. All right. So I'm, I'm maybe in a little more vo uh, voiceless tonight. I, I'm sorry, but... You know, sometimes it's okay to let people know how you feel too, right? You know, that's the thing. You know, without further ado, we're going to close out, right? I definitely need the blessing, right? The, the news sometimes gets to me. So thank you all again. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Sages. And that we depart peace. In the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all. Go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us, right? JPCE, spiritual talk. Never, ever hold back. See truth, right? Really what this is all about when I do these videos, showing you all the videos and what's going on around the world, because you don't see a lot of this on social media, right? You don't, you're, you're not going to see this on mainstream media. A lot of this you're not. Probably don't even know what's really going on, right? Because we're all fed narratives. Right? That's the thing. We're all fed narratives. We all get news. That's what I call distraction news. Keeps It keeps the sheep distracted, right? Keeps them distracted from what's, all, what's going on. We have to learn to fight against that, right? Don't be distracted. Seek the truth, right? And that's what I'm here to do each and every day. Through my Bible studies, and through just showing you, you all these videos, what's going on around the world. Love you all so much. I'm out, right? Have a great evening. Love you all so much. You're out.